In this video, we're going to discuss the fixed level of detail expression. So the fixed level of detail, if you'll notice the filters on the right, we do the extract filters, we do the data source filters, and then the context filters. So anything that's in the context happens before um, anything happens with the visualization. But at that point, the fixed level of detail is, is calculated. That means once we've filtered out anything from the extract, the data source, or the context, if you do a fixed sum of sales, it's going to calculate the sum of sales at that point before you do any more filtering. So for instance, if we had a, a data set that had all of the countries in the world and their sales, but in the extract data and context filters, we filtered out everything except the United States. If we ran fixed level of detail sum of sales, if we ran a fixed sum of sales calculation, it would give us a number that we could use um, for any calculations after that, which would have the complete, the total sales for the United States. Now that might be interesting if we want to calculate something like a, if we, for some reason we wanted to run a calculation where we were calculation, calculating some sort of percentage of a state versus the whole country or a percentage of some uh, group of states or some fixed percentage of the country's sales, all right? Now, it doesn't change, again, after we add dimension filters. So if we filtered out, let's say, half of the states in the, con in the, in the country, it's still going to have, if we, if we calculate that fixed sum of sales before then, it's still going to have the, the whole um, United States, all right? So let's take a look at how this works, all right? So we use the fixed keyword, and again, we put every level of detail uh, function in curly braces. So it's fixed, the dimensions that you might want to do, aggregate expression. So in this case, once we filtered out all the customers that are in other countries, giving our last example, for every customer name that's left, calculate the sum of sales. Or for every customer name that's in the context, calculate the minimum year of the order date. Now, what does that tell us? That'll tell us even if a customer has 7,000 orders, it'll find the lowest year of order date, and then we'll know what year that customer became a customer. So here's some scenarios, right? You wish to compare a value against the whole, regardless of how your user has filtered. So you use the fixed level of detail expression to calculate a denominator for comparing a part to an unchanging whole. So sum of sales divided by fixed sum of sales. All right. What that gets us is sum of sales for whatever we've divided it up or sliced and diced it into in the, in the um, visualization, and we divide it by the fixed sum of sales. Let's look at an example. I'm going to switch over to Tableau. OK, so I'm now in Tableau, and I'm going to do something real simple. I'm going to put a sales by subcategory sheet together where I'm putting my subcategory in the rows. I'm going to put the sum of sales into columns. I will sort descending and I will add a table calculation, which is going to be percent of total. And then I'm going to show the mark label. All right. And so we see here that I have the different percentages of each of the sales items, except when I add subcategory into the filter and I show my filter and I let people filter things out, look what happens to my percentages. They change because they're calculating the percent against the total of what's in the view. Now we want to do something slightly different, right? We want to have it so that if we, no matter what we filter out, those percentages stay the same. And for that, we have to use a fixed level of detail. So I'm going to go over here to the right, and I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to call this fixed LOD sum of sales. And I'm just going to put in that formula that was in the slides, sum sales divided by curly brace fixed. I don't need any dimensions for this sum because what I want is the fixed 
I want the sum of seals for everything. So I don't need a dimension to limit it down. And I close my brace. And because you have an aggregation on the top side of the formula, you need to make sure that you wrap the bottom part of the formula, the denominator, in an aggregation. It could really be sum or min or average. I just chose min here. I hit OK. And now I'm going to drop this over here. And we're going to end up with two different graphs. And look, they have the same numbers. But let me go in here. I'll just default properties, the number format to percentage two. And now we should match, right? But watch the difference in, in, in what happens when I start filtering. Make sense? This is still doing exactly what we're asking it to do, which is to give us the percentage of this against the whole. But this is doing something else, which is giving us the percentage against the total whole, which is unfiltered. Our filter, we notice here that the dimension filter, which is clicking on each of the subcategories, is happening after the fixed level of detail is calculated. OK, let's look at another scenario. So we looked at this one before. If you want to assign your customers to cohorts, so based upon the year of their first order, uh, you would use FIX to identify the first order date, as the previous slide said. Fixed colon min order date. If you just put that in a visualization where every customer is listed and you put fixed min order date in there, it's going to give you each one of those. If you want to calculate it and be clear that you're wanting to calculate it for each customer, you would add a argument like this. And there we have a distinct for each customer ID, calculate the min order date. So in the tutorial, I'm going to give you a few scenarios, and some of them are going to eat, are going to be exactly the ones from these slides, and some of them are going to be some other ones where you have to kind of build and think upon, think about the slides, about how to, how to apply it. All right. Here's one more. Uh, you wish to calculate the number of days since the last time a customer ordered. All right. And so what we do is we use fix to find the newest order date, and then we subtract it from today's date. Because dates are stored as numbers that increase as time passes, you can do math on them. And if you do math on them, you get the number of days or the number of weeks or months between one date and another, right? or just the total amount of time between one and another. And if we see this here, we, we say today, which is a function in Tableau, which gets me today's date, minus fixed customer name, max order date. So find the late, last time that they ordered, subtract that date from the today date, and you'll get the number of days at, that it takes, sorry, the number of days between the last order date and today. And so you can look at different kinds of analyses about customers who have um, potentially ordered in the last month versus those that haven't, et cetera. So I think you'll see that there's a lot of interesting things you can do, and we'll explore those a little bit in the tutorial for this video.